Chapter 8, Systems of Linear Equations and Gaussian Elimination. We'll start with definition. What is a linear equation? We've seen this before with functions, and they were based on equations. If we have two variables, linear equation is, here a and b are going to be numbers, constants, and c is also going to be a constant. The variables are x and y. So in two variables, here is what our linear equation looks like. How is, does this relate to the linear equation we are used to? If I solve for y, I'm going to subtract ax to the other side. So it's by equals negative ax plus c divided by b. y equals, I'm going to divide both by b at the same time, negative a over bx plus c over d. You would have your slope is negative a over b and your y-intercept would be c over d. Here is two variable linear equation. What does three variable linear equation look like? All you do is add another variable. So we have a variable z, and another constant, and just keep alphabetically uh, ordered here. I went a, b, c for these constants, and then the constant by itself, I went with d. Now if you want four variables, you'll see a problem. What letter comes after z? Certainly you can't reuse a, and even if you used all letters of the alphabet, you still would run out very quickly. And if we have n variables, and if n is a larger number, what we do is use subscripts. So the first constant, we'll put a subscript of 1. The first variable is subscript of 1. Second variable, subscript of 2. Second constant is subscript of 2. And how many do we have? We have n, so I can't exactly write out uh, a different amount for each value of n, so we just say dot, 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 continue the pattern, so keep adding another constant times variable, constant times variable, until you have n of them. And on the right side, you have a single constant, and we're going to use b. So these are what linear equations are. Now, a system of equations, you have multiple equations, and the solution needs to satisfy all of the equations. What does it mean for a solution on a graph? that would be all points on a graph that satisfy the equations. So if you're going to satisf satisfy a system, it'll be all points on a graph that satisfies every single one of the equations. And what we're going to be focusing on is linear systems, so it'll be a linear, a system of linear equations. So put them together and it's a, um, a set of linear equations. And they will all need to be in the same dimension or else it wouldn't really make sense because they need to all be on the same graph. 